Hi, family, and welcome to another episode of Wake Up Africa. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. How are you doing? How's everything going? I really do pray that you are well in all your ways, family, and that you're moving into living life uh, truly in the fifth dimension in the new earth. I am reporting live and direct, family, from the Dr. Mumbi Healing Center. An amazing place where we will start to be doing many different um, events, retreats, and all that stuff. And there's a lot of interesting things that have happened that uh, some of you have asked me to comment on. And the most interesting one was Kevin Hart. Now, in case you didn't know, Kevin Hart was actually supposed to perform in Egypt. He had, I think, some kind of show that he was supposed to do there. And... Um, he actually, in some commentary, he made a comment where he said that, um, you know, the Egyptians, the ancient Egyptians were black. And he said, you know, we must teach our children the true history of black Africans when they were kings in Egypt and not just the era of slavery that is cemented by education in America. Do you remember the time when we were kings? And the whole statement sparked an uproar because family. The Arabs have convinced themselves that they were the ancient, that they are the ancient Egyptians. The Jungus have convinced themselves, the Mzungus have convinced themselves that they were the ancient Egyptians. They literally took the fat nose, the, the one that defined him, some of these pharaohs as Africans and like chopped them off. And then they've, they're in a cognitive dissonance. But they've lied so much to their people that their people have eaten and believed the lie to the point where Kevin Hart's show was canceled because he shared a little truth. In 2023, family, the Arabs still think they're descendants of the Egyptians? That's so crazy. How a lie can go so far, family. And how the thought that the black man is king and queen and emperor and empress can cause such an uproar where a so-called award-winning comedian literally gets his, you know, concert, you know, concert cancelled. Of course, Kevin said that his show was canceled because of local logistic issues. But, um, you know, according to the Middle East Eye, um, Hart was criticized on Egyptian social media for comments he allegedly made asserting that ancient Egyptians were black. And he was, had been due to perform in Cairo, I think, tomorrow, uh, Tuesday. I don't know when you guys will see this. Um, the Egyptian talent agency, R Productions, released a statement on Facebook the day prior saying the show had been cancelled due to local logistical issues. But they're not ready, family. They're not ready for the truth. But that doesn't mean you should keep yourself from the truth. Because you, when you keep yourself from the truth, when you keep your children from the truth, you're keeping yourself from your inheritance. And you know, the ancient ones are back. They'll be showing people exactly which race belongs to them. You know, we don't have to, we don't have to, you know. But you must know the truth for yourself. Don't be in these delusions. You know, and, the, and then this article, the Middle East Eye says, you know, uh, the race of ancient Egyptians has been the subject of debate for decades. The theory that ancient Egyptians were black was pioneered by Senegalese historian Cheikh Anta Diop. Um, and some modern scholars have cautioned against using modern day racial categories to, friend, to reference to ancient Egypt. But this will tell you, family, no one's going to come out and tell you you're the king, you're the queen, you're the ancient ones. Your bloodlines are those of pharaohs. 
No one's going to come out and tell you that. You have to know these things for yourself. And that's why we're told that the truth will make you free, family. Because it looks like there's still going to be a major war for the truth. And it says, you know, Egyptologists have been strangely reluctant to admit that the ancient Egyptians were rather dark-skinned Africans. They can't stomach the fact that we're the chosen ones, family. And I keep getting emails, oh, it's not about race now. Oh, it's not this. Oh, it's not that. It's all about the blood and the DNA. Bottom line. That's where the Akashic records are. That's where everything is. And a lot of brothers and sisters that look like you and me, they gave up that bloodline with the J-J-J, Jimmy Jam. But for those of us who remain pleo blood, just know that, you know, it takes one of our ancestors to show up on their chariots of fire to prove who the ancient Egyptians were. The world has been deceived, family, and has been made to hate the keepers of the world. Can you imagine that Egyptians right now and Egyptologists are reluctant to tell the truth? It's so obvious they were black. I mean, come on. So wake up, family. This is why we've been telling you for so long to wake up. Because no one is going to wake us up by but us. No one benefits from us awakening but us. Everyone is benefiting from us being deep asleep. And sleep is a mental state where your mind is so closed up and tied up in a story that is told to you by inferior people and you believe it. Imagine how much our ancestors are knocking their heads like what is going on, family. Of course, a lot of magic. That's when now you have to really accept almost that a lot of magic has been used, family. A lot to turn the world upside down and back to front. to make the last bones think they were the first bones. I mean, we grew up in a time, family, I don't know if you remember, in the 80s and 90s, we were still battling the story that Africans came from monkeys, only to later find out about the Neanderthals. And it's like, and now all of a sudden, that the truth is coming out, we're told, oh no, it's not, it's not about black or white. It's not important. It doesn't matter if Jesus was black or white. It's his spirit. Don't fall for it, family. Tell the children the truth. Tukopamoja. <laughs>